how to activate and deactivate user accounts. Once you've assigned your usernames and passwords to your learners, you can come to Olico's reporting tool at learn.olico.org forward slash reports and you can log in with your admin username. You can go to the learner details account uh, and you can select your school and you'll see that those learners that have logged in and they've filled in their name and surname, their details are now appearing here in this report. The next thing we need to do then is to deactivate any of the user accounts that we're not going to use at this stage. And this is just to clean up things a little bit so that all of these additional usernames that you've been assigned don't show up in your quiz reports and your online activity reports and just makes it a little bit cleaner. So it's fairly straightforward. You would just go to the username that you want to deactivate. You click on the deactivate button and it will give you a series of reasons for why you are deactivating. In this case, it's simply an unassigned username and we'll click deactivate uh, and it's as simple as that. That username has now been deactivated and you can see it's no longer showing up in our active lists. If we want to find that username again, we can click, we can simply go to deactivated and if we need to, we can simply reactivate this user and they'll show up again here in the active list. Another reason you might want to deactivate a user account is perhaps a learner has dropped off the program or they've moved schools and so you need, no longer need them to show up in your quiz reports or your online activity reports. In that case, let's say for example Demo05 has dropped off the program, we simply click deactivate for them and then we can select from a set of predefined reasons. Perhaps they've dropped off the program for poor attendance, they've moved schools, they've got a schedule clash, perhaps there's transport issues for them or perhaps the reason is unknown. You simply select one of those because that will help us in tracking trends and then we click deactivate and that learner is deactivated from this list. It will no longer appear in the, your active learners list for any of the online activity or the quiz reports. If you want to reactivate that learner, let's say they return to the school, they return to the program, you simply go to deactivated learners over here and you can click reactivate uh, and they will once again uh, appear now in the active list. You can also deactivate learners in bulk. You simply select them like so and you'll uh, click on this deactivate selected button here and then you'll choose a reason. You'll only be able to obviously assign one reason if you're doing it in bulk and then you would click deactivate in order to do that more than one user account at a time. There is also a deactivated learners menu item on the left hand side. You can select that, you can choose your group and you can see there are five deactivated learners here plus it's giving the reasons. So we may be able to pick up some trends. For example, in this case, three of our learners have been deactivated because of transport issues. So we might be able to improve their retention uh, and improve their attendance if we are able to come up with a solution to their transport problems. Lastly, it's important to note that when we deactivate and reactivate learners, uh, they still retain their access to learn.olico.org. They can still work on the system. They aren't prevented from logging in. Uh, all that's happening is they won't show up in our active learner lists for our online activity and quiz reports. That's it for activating and deactivating learners.